Hey folks, I'm going to do a quick video today about a tungsten grinder I'm going to make out of just a regular bench grinder. And this is, I, I picked up a couple of these from Harbor Freight. Yeah, I said Harbor Freight. I don't normally shop there, but I just wanted a cheap grinder to convert and use these diamond wheels on. And I'm going to try and slow it down with a uh, dimmer switch. I've seen a couple of videos young fellows had posted out there that they had done that and had success. And I believe it was with AC induction motors, which is what this is. There's no brushes in this. So we'll see if that works out. I'm going to do a, maybe a test on a different motor first before I smoke a brand new one. And make sure that the dimmer switch works. But kind of a cold sunny day out but it's cold so I'm gonna do this one inside and you know this girlfriend's been putting together puzzles in her spare time getting tired of watching TV and she's kind of going stir crazy so we got to get her out of the house this weekend um, right Mitty right yeah anyway this is the uh, the grinder all tore apart now I'm gonna take this is a the factory wheel that came with, obviously, has a half-inch diameter hole. These are three-quarter-inch diameter, and they, as you can see, that's not going to work. So I'm going to have to make some, uh, make some bushings for these on the lathe, fire up the lathe. And uh, I'm going to make, the, I'm going to totally remake this guard. One side, I'm going to, make it and I have to anyway because uh, these these things stick out like a lot further than a regular stone would so but at one time I'm going to make a, a pedestal with an adjustable uh, rest on it you might say I guess is what it is and the other side I'm going to make it basically enclosed I want this entire thing enclosed but a, I'll put a couple of different holes in there, different angles for grinding tungsten, sharper or less sharp, and then make a clean-out tray down below because, uh, you know, this stuff's not good to breathe, the dust from a tungsten, and this is definitely, I guess this is radioactive, so I have no plans on sucking that dust if I can help it. This is, I'm sure these grinding wheels aren't the greatest for you to, to inhale either so you know by all means uh they they should have you definitely should wear a dust mask and they should have the guards back on them you know you got to give something for those cats at osha to do make sure you got guards on your stuff uh at home gamers don't have to worry about it but I'll tell you what i work in a shop where osha has been prevalent lately just kind of checking things out and making sure we have our ducks in a row and we're spending time making guards and tidying up the shop to make it look nice, plus be safe. And it, you should always be safe when you're doing this kind of stuff. You know, what's what's your eye, what's your eye worth? What's your finger worth? It's what's your hand worth? You don't want to get it caught up in something or, or be any more dangerous than you have to. Enough of the stuff is dangerous enough as it is. You know, the things you don't see, like the dust, like we just talked about. Use some, use some respiratory protection. Uh, I try to. I don't always each day either. I, I definitely could do better. But uh, regardless, going to make this into a, a, a diamond sharpening machine. And, you know, the, these little guys here, you can see this has got a, so I can get it to focus here, a little brazed insert in it. And I could sharpen this on, uh, you know, make a special fixture to sharpen it on the side of this as well. And these are, this is basically for a boring head. Um, you can use it in a, in a lathe as well for boring. And I've got a lot of other lathe tools just have brazed on that use silver solder to braze on those little bits. And you can make your own tooling and do all kinds of fun stuff if you've got a good way to sharpen it and and keep a good edge on it. And carbide's tough to do that with unless you've got diamond or something they call uh, uh, 
was it borite, I believe, that, that can also sharpen carbide. So anyway, we'll uh, make some bushings for the shaft. I'm going to revamp this entire guard and, and make something totally different. Well, it'll be round like that, but it'll be it'll be wider and it'll it'll mount in all of those holes instead of just three and i think i'm going to use i'll come off of those holes as well with my guard and come out here for a steady rest so i can i can grind on the one side uh it'll of course have an open spot on it on the side so i can grind the the lathe tooling and like these boring bars and that sort of thing the tungsten you don't need it though you just need a couple little holes to get in there and and get the right angle, I guess, on your tungsten. And uh, that's all you need. Nothing fancy. So stay tuned, and I'll come back uh, with another video, hopefully in the near future, with uh, bushings I made and uh, a new guard set up, and who knows, maybe even a new puzzle. Stay tuned.